Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014 Interbike. We stopped by because I found something that I think is going to help me a ton in some of my races. And this is a hydration pack, but it's a little flask. I'm going to let Matt take it away here in just a second and tell us about it. But I want to tell you what my thoughts are with this. So you'll see that there's two different sizes here, littler, bigger. I don't know all the exact. I think this does 16 ounces. This is probably what? 12 ounces. 12 ounces of water. So ideal scenario for, let's say the last race I just did, uh, loaded you. So you go from Logan, Utah to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's about 8,000 feet of climbing, 206 miles in one day. Well, you're in between bottles. So when you got two bottles on the bike, obviously, you don't necessarily want to pack a bottle in the back of your jersey. And you're sure not going to pack a camel pack. So what you could do is easily put this small bottle. This is all you really need to get you between that first fa that aid station. So you don't have to stop at the first one. Take this thing, fill it up, put it back there, use this one first, and then instantly it shrinks up small enough, it's out of your way till you get to the feed station. And it helps so much with the bulkiness and that riding on your spine the whole entire time as you're riding. So I love that product for that exact reason. Leadville is exactly the same way on the mountain bike. So when you have aid stations that are a little further out or you're trying to get a really fast time and you don't want to stop certain aid stations and stretch them, this type of bottle, I think, is going to be perfect. We'll be testing it this year just to see how it works. So, Matt, tell us about the technology, how this actually works, how they open it, and how we use it. Great. So, this is a soft flask. It's int we introduced it this year. So, we're known for making reservoirs. We've been making reservoirs for 13 years. We essentially took the same materials and technology and put it into a small, collapsible bottle. Okay. So, this is the same very strong TPU film that we make our reservoirs out of that you can stand on. Uh, it, this is a 16 ounce or 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, it has a bite valve at the top. So um, with a little here, it's a sh uh, sh on and off on the valve. As you drink down the liquid, essentially as the volume of the liquid disappears, the volume of the bottle disappears. And as you said, when it's full, it's very soft material, strong material, soft against your back. Uh, and then once you've drank it down, it collapses. Okay. And so Matt, another thing on this right now, if I put this in the freezer and I freeze it, is it going to expand enough or is it going to hold or I need to worry about that? It'll be good in the freezer. So the material stays pliable and so with the expansion of the water it will go ahead and expand and it doesn't get rigid. Okay. Uh, so another thing on that guys is when you're climbing a hill obviously and you're starting the base of a hill, if you get super hot this is a great way to make an ice pack for you and something you can drink with all your nutrition in it, two in one. So what I would do is fill this up, have it in your, uh, your cooler so it stays icy and then when you get there, just chuck this thing right down the core of your back. Make sure it brings your core temperature down, reach right back in your jersey, grab this thing right out and drink it. You'll get the best of both worlds. Bring your core temperature down and have your liquid. Okay, wonderful. And then for refilling, so if you're on the trail and you want to refill it, uh, it's got a 42 millimeter opening. So it is easy to refill, put in ice cubes if you want to. Uh, and when you're done with the ride, it's easy to get in and clean the whole thing out and it fully drains, so it's gonna be ready for your next ride. Absolutely, and really no bacterial buildup, that kind of stuff in it? It's the same, it's a natural antimicrobial material, so you still have to clean it, yeah. um, but the point is that it's easy to clean, yeah. so that it will, and once it's dry in between, then it'll store forever. So like anything in your kitchen, you clean it, then you dry it, and then you can put it away. And we do it in three sizes, so the small one is a 12 ounce or 350 milliliters, mid-size is the 500 milliliters or 16 ounce, and then we have a large version which is 750 milliliters or 24 ounces. Yeah, awesome. All right, so I hope you keep out there, get out there, ride your bikes, have lots of fun, but most of all, keep out there cycling strong. We'll talk to you soon.